A planned public burning of the Quran did not take place today in an Amarillo City Park. News Channel 10's Elise Preston witnessed the crowd of protesters this afternoon. She joins us live in the News Center. Members of the Amarillo Unitarian Universalist Fellowship Church enacted a phone tree this morning, and they used Facebook to spread their message, Stop the Quran from Burning in an Amarillo City Park. It was a song of unified victory for dozens of protesters at Sam Houston Park this afternoon. Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, and atheists, all with different beliefs, but today one common belief brought them together. Great dishonor to desecrate the uh, sacred scriptures of any religious tradition. David Grisham, the leader of an area radical Christian group, attempted to publicly set fire to the Islamic holy book. Snuck up behind him and took his Quran. He said something about burning the Quran. I was like, dude, you have no Quran, and ran off. Many called Jacob Isom a hero after he took the Quran, already doused with kerosene, off a park grill. Some people put their hands on the grill that he has saturated the book on to burn it, to keep him from burning that and them, you know, and they were willing to sacrifice themselves, you know. Axe Miller tells us he is thankful for. God has a way of intervening when he want to bring a lot of good, you know, from a bad thing. And so we look at this as a positive thing in light of September 11th and the feelings that are going on around the world. Especially. We just spoke briefly by phone with David Grisham. He tells us he chose to leave the park in case things got out of hand. Live at the News Center, Elise Preston, News Channel 10.